Hello YouTube, Psychofox here. Yeah? This is my spare Panasonic 3DO FZ1 console, which was having power issues. The machine just kept turning itself off, so... I took out the power pack, which is really easy to do. Just take out these screws, unplug this. I put in the power pack for my working 3DO, and the problem still persisted, so I knew that this power pack wasn't the problem. The problem lay on the board somewhere. So I took out the CD unit, which is that screw, another one down here, likewise on this side, lift this metal shielding off, unplug two ribbon cables at the back, and this whole CD unit comes out. So then you're left with a board and some metal shielding on top. And at that point I replaced three capacitors, which is this one here, which is a 100 microfarad 16 volt, I uh, beg your pardon, 25 volt, this one which is 1000 microfarads, 16 volt, and a big one, which you can see there's somewhere down here, if you want to see the two original, there's one of them, two original connectors there, for this big one, which is 6800 microfarads, 25 volts. Now, I was originally a bit lazy and I didn't bother getting the board out and I soldered it. I prized it, the original one, off the board and sold it in a new one directly to those two contact points there. And it still wouldn't work. So I realised what I'd obviously done is I'd ripped the old capacitor out and I'd, I've damaged the board. So I put it to one side and wait till I got some spare time, which I did today, and I got the board out, which doesn't take long. Just take the shielding off um, and a few more bits and bobs. And you can lift the board out and I've soldered two wires to the contact points on the bottom of the board because I pretty much messed up the ones on the in here in the top of the board by being lazy the first time around. So what I should have done with hindsight is the big 6800 microfarads capacitor original which was stood vertically there I should have taken the board out and desoldered it from the underside instead of just wrenching it off the board. Anyway, so I've got this new one soldered to the bottom of the board and just taped in place and this has cured the power problems of the 3DO replacing the three capacitors so it's that big 6800 microfarads 25 volt that's slightly larger 1000 microfarads 16 volt and the little 100 microfarads 25 volt there so all three are sort of um all three in a line in a line you can see the positive and the negative sides by the capacitors which are already there so if your 3do has got similar power issues uh, you don't want to go to the expense of buying a replacement 3do just for a new power pack it is a good idea just to um source a source some replacement capacitors off eBay I mean these are really cheap they're only about a quid for ten or something and spend about 20 minutes putting them in this is a really easy console to dismantle uh, did it today in about 10 minutes just by sight you can work out what to do it's quite sort of quite self-explanatory you don't need any um, any sort of tutorial guides so I've had this running now for an hour and a quarter this afternoon without issue at all, which uh, satisfies me that the power issues are sorted because it wouldn't work for any more than two seconds to two minutes before. So I'm really pleased with my little fix and that I now have a spare working 3DO. Thanks for watching.